So in the previous video, we uh, created uh, a tunnel um, with this uh, ingress rule um, pointing to our uh, local host. All the traffic uh, proxied uh, through Cloudflare. Now we are gonna start the tunnel again. We are gonna make sure that the container this time is running on uh, the host network. This is very important because uh, you need the Cloudflare D container to be able to talk to the services that we are gonna be deploying locally. Um, we um, bind the folder, including the credentials to the uh, slash home slash non root slash dot cloudflare d uh, uh, folder within the container and we just uh, run a tunnel I hit enter and uh, at this stage um, any traffic going to our public uh, internet exposed uh, host is going to be reaching our local machine. So let's now deploy uh, one node red uh, container on our local host. Um, we're just grabbing this um, uh, basic command from the node red uh, page. We get rid of the local volume. And we get rid of the port binding. We are going to be linking this container also to, uh, to the host network. Again, this is important. Otherwise, um, you're not going to be able to, uh, to uh, route correctly your traffic. And uh, we have uh, now both containers running in parallel, Node-RED and the tunnel, both are running. Now let's try to, let's try to access uh, our local instance of Node-RED. Uh, we use a classic uh, 1880 port and uh, you see that we can access the Node-RED container. Uh, let's now try to get access uh, from the outside world using uh, the host name that we have declared in uh, Cloudflare. So as you see here, we're getting HTTP access uh, with a valid certificate from Cloudflare and we're accessing our local host. So all the traffic is proxied um, through Cloudflare to our home environment. Just uh, let me show you uh, that we are reaching the exact same instance of uh, in Node Red. Um, if we deploy this uh, node uh, on our uh, local host, you see that we can uh, see it. And if we uh, refresh um, uh, the access from the internet is, is sending us the same exact uh, node. Let's try now the other way around. Let's uh, deploy one node accessing from the outside world to our local host. This is uh, deployed through, uh, through the proxy at uh, Cloudflare. And um, we will be able to, um, if we deploy the changes, uh, and now we're trying to access from within our uh, home network. Um, we refresh here, and you will see that the um, node we just deployed from the outside wall is also uh, on our uh, on our node red. Um, environment. So uh, let's now uh, try to deploy a second service. Uh, for that, 
uh, essentially what you have to do is um, is to uh, include new uh, ingress rules on the config file. Um, so let's edit the config file and let's add a second service uh, to uh, the config file. Um, this time we uh, essentially copy the same this time we are going to deploy uh, another classic example of a home lab, which is a, a home assistant docker. Um, and again, we're going to try to uh, access it from the outside world without, uh, without uh, any other change on, on our local network. So uh, the uh, service is going to be using port uh, classic port 8123 which is classic home assistant uh, local uh, port I'm going to adjust the name of the service I'm going to suppose my home assistant environment as my home assistant dot micasita dot ga and we're gonna we're gonna save the new uh, config file and these ingress rules uh, are going to be loaded on my, on my environment. As you can see here, both uh, Node-RED and Home Assistant are going to be exposed, each of them on a different, uh, using a different uh, host name. So uh, now I'm going to show you how can you add, using the graphic interface, um, this new host that we have declared on the config file. For that, uh, you just need to uh, add here the host name that we have uh, assigned to Home Assistant. And uh, we're gonna be using the same channel. So we copy and paste the channel, which, which is gonna act as the uh, destination of all the traffic. So um, you don't need to use the um, the command line to create this this these rules. You just can go uh, to uh, Cloudflare graphic interface and uh, and adjust it uh, there. So let's now look for the uh, home assistant container uh, to uh, deploy it locally on our environment. Um, I'm not a home assistant expert, so I'm just uh, gonna uh, deploy a very basic, uh, um, a very basic installation. Um, this gonna, this gonna help you understand, you know, the steps that you need to follow in case you want to deploy this kind of service and expose it. So let's look for the Docker. Um, command we need to use. Uh, I think it's uh, it must be uh, down here. Yes. Um, so um, again, as I said, this is just you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into too much details. I'll just copy the basic command and um, and let's uh, start. Uh, home assistant container here. Okay, let's make sure that it has been uh, correctly deployed. Um, and, uh, yeah, here it is. So now we do have both containers running on, on our uh, local host. So you can see here, this is home assistant, the node red one, and also the tunnel uh, container. So let's uh, just repeat the process. Let's make sure that we can access it locally. And it seems like we can. Oh, here it is. The, uh, from the LAN network, we can access it. And now let's try to access it through the proxy uh, in Cloudflare. So we use the host name that we have 
created on our DNS. So my home assistant and uh, it doesn't doesn't look like it. Let me let me make sure that I have not done any uh, spelling uh, mistake. Uh, And uh, yes, oh, I forgot to, yeah. So this is important. Every time that you make any change to the, uh, to the rules, you need to uh, restart the tunnel um, because this is the only way you can reload the uh, ingress rules. Uh, so please make sure that you uh, restart the, uh, the tunnel container and then all the, uh, you know, the new config uh, is gonna be loaded. So let's now start the, the, uh, the tunnel again and uh, the moment it is started we should be able to uh, access from the outside world. And yeah, well, I mean at least we don't have this problem again now. We need to face this bad request. Uh, let me check, let me check uh, what is exactly uh, um, um, the change that we need to make on the uh, on the environment. Uh, so yeah, so it looks like the um, it looks like the uh, home assistant uh, container has to be adjusted to uh, to be able to um, accept uh, proxy traffic. So for that, we're gonna be. Uh, uh, executed inside of the home assistant um, uh, container and uh, making this adjustment into the uh, configuration YAML. Uh, I'm not an expert on, on home assistant so probably there are better ways to do that but but you know just bear with me just uh, add this to the uh, config file of uh, home assistant and you will be able to uh, to uh, accept proxy traffic here. So it is just adding um, this use x forward for uh, the true. And then you need to add um, also this uh, trusted um, proxy uh, uh, to localhost. Uh, and then with this uh, adjustment on the config jamel of uh, Home Assistant, um, you should be able to uh, to uh, get access to it. We uh, save and quit, and uh, just make sure that you have added this to your uh, config jamel. And then we uh, we're gonna. Ex start again the uh, home assistant container uh, just to make sure that the new configuration is loaded um, so we uh, we restart this uh, this container and uh, and let's see if now uh, we are able to uh, to access uh, it from the outside so is, let's try again my home assistant and yeah so here you are uh, you are accessing home assistant on an SSL connection with a valid certificate from Cloudflare from the internet to your uh, local host so as you can see here you can access and you know and do your thing with uh, <laughs> with home assistant so these are the two hosts that we have declared and uh, and again, um, please make sure, and this is important, that all the containers are um, uh, able to talk to each other, meaning you want all of them to join the host network or at least uh, share a network so they are able to uh, communicate. Thanks for watching.